give me a break. Don't give me a shakedown. Give me a break. Hello oh, there, Internet. Give me a break, man, here. Some of you don't know who I am, don't know anything about me, actually. So today I thought I would bring you into part of my life. I am an English teacher in Japan, and this is what I do. Now, a couple weeks ago, I focused on a new English series called well, English series uh, on youtube.com slash English series. Go check it out after this video. There'll be a link where you can go and see episode number three, which is up. But today I thought I would take you into the classroom and show you how much fun I have in my lesson. Now, I don't work for a big school. I'm lucky. I'm a self-made man with a Japanese partner, but I get to teach whatever I want. I teach mostly movies and videos from YouTube, songs, whatever I want. Today I'm going to do, be doing something very interesting. My student here has brought me this very interesting Japanese kind of um, conundrum, a dilemma, something that a lot of kids like to ask each other. I'm going to use this opportunity to make a lesson. Here's the actual Japanese question. That is the typical Japanese question. You don't know. You, you, I, I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but that's in Japanese. I don't know what the hell that says. Well, I'm going to teach you. We're going to use this to make a lesson. Okay, first of all, we've got to understand what those words mean. Words from this little, the ultimate question. Okay, first of all, uh, Kyukyoku is ultimate. When you have to know that's apostrophe s or of. Sentaku is choice. Kare, of course, is curry. Curry. Uh, aji no, aji is taste, so aji no is taste of or taste like. Unko, as many of you probably know, is poop. Now you could say shit, but poop is the more you know friendly, childish way. Okay? Shit is kind of impolite. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, the same words are repeated in different order poop, taste of, curry. So, how do we turn this into a question? This is the ultimate ultimate question. Would you rather have curry that tastes of poop or would you rather have poop that tastes of curry? And this is the question that all children ask each other, right? All you guys ask each other when you were kids. Uh, this is the thing that kept you up late at night. You couldn't sleep because you were wondering which was more disgusting. Right? <laughs> if you want to make a more sophisticated sentence, of course, would you rather have poop that tastes of curry? Would you have a poop flavored curry? Would you rather have curry flavored poop? All these kinds of things, right? And if you want to be even more poetic English, would you rather dine on dung flavored curry? Dine on diner? Dine on dung flavored curry? Or would you rather consume curry flavored crap? And when we repeat words like this, the first letter, CCC, it's kind of humorous to us. It's kind of funny because you have the first, the same letters, curry, curry. Oh. Consume curry flavored crap. If you want to be really creative, what you can do, study all the different words for poop. The first words here at the, at the top here, feces, stool sample, and bowel movement. These are more medical uh, words. Okay. The doctor, he might ask you about bowel movement. Most acceptable English would be poop. Crap is kind of okay. Dung is more like for animals, animal dung. And shit. And uh, British people, we like to call them limeys, lime suck. Anyway, they say shite. Spanish people say caca. 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 And um, some Americans will say caca. Caca. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Turd. 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 Turd, yes. Sometimes we like to pinch a loaf. One of the more disgusting expressions is anal butter. Yeah. Anal butter, yes. <laughs> anal, it means colmon. No. Uh, Very disgusting, I know. Some people like to say ass flakes. <laughs> Like cornflakes or basket. <laughs> the imagery here is discussing black bananas, booty cakes, cigar fish, Judy, fudge monkeys, rectum warriors, butt nuts. And my original, if you have really bad constipation, Chilean miners. Trey? Chilean miners, yes. Yes. 69 days in your butt, finally come out. And that's my lesson for today. Thank you very much. <laughs> give me a break, man. Give me a break. Don't give me a shakedown. Give me a break, man.